Yes, Pastor. Great. Welcome back to the second hour of our lecture. I, I, I remember, Tembela, you did some other time suggested that I need to put a, a Google Watch mm. on the screen. I must still follow up with that so you can show me how to do that. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, thanks for that suggestion. You know, we are learning every day with this technology stuff. And the watch will, will, will ring a bell at the right time, eh? Yes, it does. Oh, okay. Great stuff. Um, thanks for all your contribution in the last hour. Um, I want uh, just to share a, a, a case study. Uh, I remember at some stage uh, uh, having a, a show with uh, Patrick and uh, Captain Mbusezi. Um And... Uh, I think we had a challenge of the 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 guests, and that that enlightened me to something that I want to share with you, which we need to take note of. I think when, especially when you are a co-host, it should be possible for you to have a a context setting. I don't know this is, is, is the right way to setting the scene or giving a context. Um, of the topic you are about to engage the the client on. Um, in other words, you must not always think in terms of having a client and then you are interviewing the client. You yourself must be able to spend a couple of minutes having a conversation around that. It's like talking around the fire and uh, sitting around the fire and talking on something while you are still waiting for your for your guest maybe discussing on what are we aiming to ask to achieve with this client why did we arrive at this topic um what what do we think the listeners are expecting to hear from the, the client uh, that is that is one point that i think we must keep on remind remembering that we we must be able to hold our host our show without a guest yeah, the other aspect of this is that that of that, that came out that day was at the end when the guest is gone, some guests are not able to be with you throughout the show, and they will want to be released at a certain point, and it might be within the show. Now, it's either we end the show and then we play music, or something I advise is now you reflect among yourself on the deliberations that you have held with the guest, because there might still be listeners who want to hear your own view on what the guest has said. And I'm, I'm going to ask Patrick and Busetze and I think uh, Sydney as well. And I used that session to say, man, you know, you can have a show, three of you. Uh, have a conversation. You're not interviewing, we're just having a conversation. And I want them to reflect on that. I hope you remember that, that particular evening. Hmm. Uh, we actually had Tendane for that evening as well. Uh, we had 45 minute session of reflection where in that reflection we had an even an opportunity unlike sometime of you find you allow the show to flow to an extent that you 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 actually don't have enough time to be able to reflect on the show in terms of uh, having to highlight your takeoffs, things which you'll be able to do differently, things which you, you your aha moment, which we always uh, uh, highlight. Those are some of the things which actually the only show from all our shows which we were able to be able to reflect each and every one of us regarding the show and having to cover all those three points. Thanks. Good. Pat? Yeah, uh, uh, I think, yeah, there's a... 
what do I say? I think maybe lucky um, is that at a time when we we, we switch on to, to 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 reflecting after having released the the, the guest is that um, uh, we we had we had a thorough uh, a prep among ourselves and we were talking about the, the topic that we we all could could uh, easily easily to and we we, we had a, 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 a full a full up almost an hour show on its own where we 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 we, we were criss cautioning each other and 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 really reflected deeply into into the subject matter. I'm, I'm trying to remember exactly what it, what, what it was we're talking about on that particular day, but we we because the preparation was was was, was that good, we we had opportunity to 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 get to get reflect on, on that, and it was it, it it was it was very insightful and it was very good and it it it, it, it looked proper or it, it appeared proper to, to 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 the people listening on the other side and I'm, I'm not referring to the show where it was going wrong connectivity wise and then we got it all messed it, 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 was, it was it was very good yeah so we we it, it, it helps to to have those as well because I think the other the other element that it brings in is to get is to get to get to gauge the, the understanding and the and the and the thinking of your co-host in, in relation to a subject matter and, and that just help you get to know them better and understand the, what, what makes them tick. Mm. Exactly. So I think uh, we need to keep on noting the lessons that we are picking up. That for me was a lesson uh, that Actually, you need not fill up the whole show with the guests from the first minute to the last minute. So you should provide time where you set the context, and then you have the conversations and release the, 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 the guest and leave yourself about 20 minutes to, to, to really also do give it your own interpretation, uh, if you can. But sometimes... Uh, it's not possible, but you can plan it that way. And I think the other point also that is a takeaway, and I've shared this with Sydney, is that as a host, uh, you are also managing your show in terms of, of your time. So you need to be very economical with a, this valuable resource called time. Because if you don't manage it, when you listen to your shows later on your podcast, you can see that they don't have a completeness. They, they, they either lack contract introduction and they have the whole, or they have introduction. Introduction, you always do it, even though sometimes you rush it. There's always been an element of introduction. But what I request is that they let the introduction be solid, even with a five minutes gap in between, and then welcome the guest. Let the conversation be solid and then release the guest in time so that you have enough time to closure. And also, Allow 10 minutes, uh, or I would say 10 minutes to 5 minutes, so that your podcast can also have a music, ending music. You know you know those good shows that you will have listened to, and then it's still 5 minutes into the show, and you are just enjoying the last 5 minutes closing up with the music. So so that it doesn't appear like we are, we are being rushed, and you, you know, we don't own the, the 2 hours. So that is just a lesson that I thought before we continue, because it's about facilitation. And, 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 and as Sydney said, it's a very difficult thing because you'll have old clients, scarce who are very, very difficult. They don't give you space for you to intervene and, and interject. And not that they do it purposefully, it's just who they are. Great. Yeah, Sydney? Yeah, thank you so much, Professor uh, Sam. Uh, time management <laughs> is a, a serious one. <laughs> and uh, sometimes we get so excited with the message uh, and then and you wake up, the time is, is already gone, you know. So you, you squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And, and as you say, sometimes when you listen to the podcast after, you can see that, uh, you know, it, it, it's not done properly. So, and I to the fact that um, you know when it comes to when it comes to introduct oh let me go back to what you discuss about in, in terms of uh, you know the benefit of us just discussing um, you know and, 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 and the benefit part of it is that you know in our discussion we'll be always asking ourselves also questions 
and, 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 and trying, you know, to provoke some certain uh, interesting point for the viewers. Uh, as you have said, that we always are discussing putting uh, the viewer in mind because uh, he, uh, the listener in mind because he's the one who who we are we are, we are talking to ourselves, but the, 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 he's listening. So yeah, just to say that you know the, there's been so many things happening on the show. Like for example, uh, I wanted to say that you know um, uh, uh, the reason why we have to plan around uh, uh, the, those discussions as a backup plan is in case if something happens. At the last minute, last minute, and uh, mm. you know the, the the guest or something happens to the to the host, and it, it doesn't it, it doesn't come in. Um, you know we, we we have to have something to to talk about, and, and I think it has happened um, uh, before where you know something happened, um, and, and we have to we have to try and and, and, and improvise. Mm. <laughs> And, and thanks so much also for your intervention, uh, Professor, to you know get us to get us going, to get the show going without mm. a, a, a listener uh, realizing this this crisis happening, uh, you know, yeah, behind the yeah. scenes. But this I I, I, I I actually experienced that challenge during your gospel and a fellowship show because we all get into hype because you know we are also part of the service and. Uh, and uh, so, yeah, it, it, it is really, it is not because, it's not intentional, but it is, it is there all the time that we need to remind each other. Like, like the last Bishop's show, uh, <laughs> we, end up, we ended up on the... <laughs> on to the next show. The <laughs> yeah, so, and the other thing that I want to also to say that, uh, which maybe for the benefit or for, of others who are still going to come, is that is the division of the parts of the program. Remember when we started, we had a, a full, uh, like for example, if I go two hours or three hours, you go for the full hours. Mm. So the way now it is structured, uh, you know, the parts, part one, part two, um, and I think also that has a, some form of an influence in the preparation because, um, you know, we need also to think, to say, well, what are we going to call part one? And uh, as we move to the next session, or uh, what are we going to call part two? And I think that uh, I don't think that I, we have actually done justice in terms of uh, introducing the parts in between because there are a lot of other things happening. But I think as, as we go along, we will we, be conscious of that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Great. Um, so we have those, those uh, contacts six to eight that are really fundamental to the topic that we are discussing. Um, uh, we have exhausted the, the facilitations one. Um, let's talk about uh, um, conduct number seven, affirming and motivating the guest. In the middle of the show, as they hit the high notes and mention some profound statements. You know, if you think of it, the guys in parliament, they have these this people, member of parliament, that we, we call them backbenchers, you know. They are there for a reason, you know. When 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 you, you are you are you are you are your member is on the floor and is hitting the high notes and they, they give it an oomph, they shout, you know. Or or if you you, you know uh, you can imagine if you are in a service, uh, brother Savello, and you hit the high notes and then you say amen, nobody say amen back. <laughs> you 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 will you will not think that you are really hitting the right level. So the same thing goes with the, the, the guests that you are in your studio because everybody that you invite into your, into your show, they are intimidated by your show already, irrespective of which station it is. And ask me, I've been talking to radios from, from community radio stations to private-owned radio stations to SAPC radio stations. Believe you me, everybody that comes into a studio is nervous. Everybody is doubting themselves. They don't really know whether they are going to meet the, the they are going to meet your expected level of delivery. So, and, and and that's where I keep on say, makes makes your guests feel comfortable. Don't say they are the gurus of the topic. They are actually knowledgeable on the topic. They don't need any motivation. They do, and actually they value that. You know, 
So, so don't move away from the when when you see that they really now getting motivated. You keep on motivating them more, and and even say, yeah, now you really hitting the you hitting the right notes because this is what we invited you for. Please sit on that one. Yeah. You assume that the people that come to your show, they are going to the shows every day. Believe you me, it's seen as being a privilege to be invited to a radio station. I know that. And in fact, there are people who get invited and they are always declining because they're just not comfortable and confident that they will do it well. So, so you have the opportunity as a host of a show when you have somebody there, irrespective of their level, to develop them further and want them to like to become the regular guests of radio stations. Because if you think of it, we have the power in our hand, especially if you look at how many people listen to your podcast afterwards. It tells you that somebody is finding value in your podcast. And when we look at the statistics, you have countries all over the world downloading more than the South Africans themselves. And, and it tells you that sitting in this part of the world, we have got something that they don't have that we might not know ourselves until maybe one day we have the opportunity to have a workshop with such people and they'll tell us. But so, so that for me, that contact number seven is very, very important. Affirm and motivate the guest in the middle of the show as they hit the high notes and mention some profound statements that they invoke in you, you know. Uh, and, and as I say that uh, the, the, the fear of the airwaves is amazing. I never thought that uh, people can be so fearful of the radio. I mean, you hear uh, 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 J.J. Tavan interviewing a minister and the minister saying to the minister, Minister, you haven't exhausted what I wanted to exhaust with you. I'll come back to you in a two months' time. And the minister, no, no, I can even come back tomorrow. So, so, so because they, then you said to them, you haven't done what I wanted you to do. Now they are worried that they have to come back quickly and meet the expectation of them. Because they see you as the mouthpiece of the multitude out there, of the listener out there. Yeah. So you must, you want them to feel comfortable. You want them to be motivated. You want them over and above being the subject matter expert of the, what they do, also to become the subject matter expert of delivering that content on a platform like the radio. So the role of the host is to help the guests to reach their best level of performance. In actual fact, the performance of the guest in many, in many times, it reflects the level of your engagement, of your own engagement. Yeah. So, so we want them to uplift the listeners to the highest level of energy vibration. Any, 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 any one of you who has uh, experienced the, this when one day you were hosting a guest and then you, you motivated them and they become even more excited and motivated more. Any, 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 any reflection there? Yes, Rosen. Yes, uh, Ramavak. Yeah, I think it was with Adelaide. Yes. During the entrepreneurship ecosystem uh, show. Yeah. But the engagement was quite exciting. Yeah. And uh, she was also motivated to give out a lot of her knowledge, her skills, her ex expertise. Mm. So we ended up now being able to for her to motivate us and also for us to motivate her so that she can be able to look forward even and I think at one stage I said you know raised a particular point on something say oh are you now inviting me back yeah you know, so I remember that those moments where I realized that you know, they was that connection and uh, we were digging deeper into uh, the issues that are at the heart of what we're discussing, and everybody felt comfortable to engage and feel free to be able to say, "Yeah, I'll be available for you know becoming a regular guest." Mm. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So that's very, very important. So you are the you are the teachers. There, keep that in mind that people that come to your shows, they, they appreciate it when you support them and encourage them to deal with the fear of the airwaves because uh, people tend to judge themselves when they come to the show. 
The conduct number eight. This one, again, it's very similar to conduct number six, where in number six we say you are facilitating, but now here we say lead the conversations. Remember you have uh, designed this show and uh, you have uh, set certain expectations on behalf of the listeners and you want to make sure that the show goes in the direction that you have uh, planned it to go to. But also you want to make sure that when when you reach the level of a flow, you know the concept of flow, uh, I, I'm sure, I'm sure uh, Jinae as an OD consultant will tell you uh, 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 something about that, the flow. You know, the, for you to reach the best level of performance, you have to be in a flow. There's a certain level of, in soccer, Sydney, we call it, you reach a form level, you know. <laughs> Even in the same game, you could start the first half being struggling, but second half, you reach the flow. Everything is just jailing. It's like you're on a, a Polish orchestra. You can't when the, 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 the guest is on a flow and just disrupt them. So, 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 so you need to play along. And sometimes, even though you, you might have planned to cover five things, and you find that the, 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 the guest is on a flow on topic one and two, so there's no need for you to want to stop them and so that you go to three and four and five because that might be the topics at which she is not going to really be on a flow. And the listeners might just now sitting straight and wanting to hear more. So 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 there's no syllabus we are covering. You can always invite the same guest to come back and cover the last other three items. So, so your performance yardstick in is is how you lead the flow of the conversation. So the show starts, you listen, you observe, and you, you, you also make sure you listen to your own sensation in your own body because you are also consuming while you are facilitating. When this guy hears or this lady hears this, the high notes, you hear even in your system that there is some, some excitement of some sort because to be a very good leader of a conversation and a facilitator, you start with yourself. You need to say, what are these points doing to me? What am I sensing? You know, am I excited? Am I moved? Am I most likely it's exactly the same way your listeners are? And so, so self knowledge is very important. Knowing exactly the feedback your system is giving you, and and of course, uh, we know in the studio as well. We can see the numbers, and we always chat on WhatsApp when the listenership goes up. We give you feedback. And you know why why the listenership is driven up? It's because the listeners mostly are listening to you on, your, on their cell phone. And when they really get excited, they, they, see, they send the link of the radio to somebody else. And then another one does the same, and then the numbers go up. Then we know that we are actually hitting the right notes. And we will WhatsApp you to say, keep it there. Because we are, we are having good response. The same happens in the opposite. You know, that one is very painful. You know, you see your show sitting at 20 people and then you just hit the low and then you one, two, three, you are sitting at 10 people. We normally tell you that leave that point, move out of that point because people are dropping off. They are very, very rough. They give you feedback instantaneously on internet radio station. It's not like in the, or in the other traditional radio station where you'll only get statistics later. We get statistics instantaneously. We'll tell you that your show is not happening. And sometimes they, there are times where you, you, you guys ask me how many listeners I have. I said, I, I feel like I don't want to tell you because you are going to be off. So a good host and a facilitator recognize when the conversation is flowing with a particular idea and allows it to be, to be explored to the end or package it in a way that meets the desires of the listeners. So disruption when the guest is in a flow and the listeners are enjoying the conversation, is hated, most hated. Of course, we don't have a way of, of, of knowing it, but as I said, the, the metrics uh, from the platform uh, uh, are, are there for us to see. So, so, so I think when you go back home today and you are planning for your show, try to remember those three uh, conducts. Facilitate, affirm and motivate, and lead the conversations. And there 
embed yourself in the conversation, listen to your system, because your system will never let you down. You know? Yeah? So, um, I will allow you to comment on that, but I want to share with you some some few points, but in the form of questions that I got from that manual that I shared with you. Here's a question, and you can also comment on the on the points as you rise respond to them. Uh, why do do people agree to be interviewed on radio? That's the that's the question. Anyone who wants to attempt to answer that. Why why do people agree to be interviewed on radio? Welcome, uh, uh, Ruben. You're welcome. Thank you, thank you. Great. Yeah, Sam? Yes. I let, let me talk about one of my guests. Um, uh, you you have uh, people that we we call game changers um, in in different industries. Yes. Who feel who feel that the system is is um, what what is the word? Uh, the system system is not allowing them to be heard and to contribute. Um, in his own words, he says, um, "You you 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 lock me outside." And, 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 and you're giving me the bigger space for me to, 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 to explore, to build, because when you are, you are trapped inside, when you think you're looking outside, Mayoyo feels like a, he, he, he he's not being heard, he's not being listened to, and he has so much to contribute. And, and true to the story, he, he has so much to, to, to contribute. And when you go to the area of Guatemala Springs and stuff like those, he's doing quite a lot of work that maybe maybe the, 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 the powers that be in the industry that he's involved in are not reaching out to those areas. So they want to be listened to, they want to be heard, and they want to contribute because they, they know they can add value to, 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 the, to the masses out there. Absolutely. Absolutely. You're giving them a platform to make a difference. Yeah? Anyone further? Why will people agree to be interviewed? This is very important because uh, if you don't meet their expectations, they may say no, or they will come reluctantly. Um, Some could just be for opportunistic reasons of marketing their, their programs that they're busy with, um, that, they, that they're running as well, and they, they figure out that uh, media is a... Is a, is a and, and being invited, it's like a, it's like you've been given a free platform to to market yourself without without necessarily having to spend. Spot on, spot on. That is the actual reason number one. I have it here. It comes from that manual. They will agree to be interviewed because they can get free advertising or promotion for themselves, their organization, a product, a service, or activity that they are they are involved in. So, so, so when people say, yeah, thank you, I'm coming, you must know that they know exactly that is what you are going to give them. So it's, it's a huge, it's a huge, it's a huge uh, point for them, you know, and that you must use in whenever you invite people, you must use that. Uh, 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 not necessarily tell them, I'm going to give you a free platform to add. Keep that at the back of your mind. You must not underestimate it and think that they are making you a favor. They know exactly what you are, what you are, what opportunities you are giving them. The captain. Yeah, for, for, for me, I just wanted to, from a sports show. What we have noticed it's a summit because. Uh, you find the certain platforms which has already been uh, crowded by certain uh, uh, line of thinking or certain people which new people which have uh, want to contribute are not given a, a chance or uh, an audience or a platform to be able to share a new ways 
and of doing things or you find the kind of problems which we are having which we've always been discussing uh, we're facing similar problems for the past 10 or 20 years but you find same people going out there and with the same uh, uh, kind of narrative so there are people who are out there who would like to get this kind of platforms and share different perspectives and ways which we can be able to, they can contribute to our society. Absolutely. Great stuff. Uh, Muligwe? Yes. The second point is that they want to share some ideas, some ideas that they want to advance. To have some idea that they want to advance to 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 the public. Yes. But there's the third point is also people want to highlight some important. Mm. Spot on, spot on. Uh, we're losing you, but we got we got your point. Yeah, spot on. Uh, you it does, you actually gave three of the of the additional points that was listed here. They they want to be interviewed, for instance, because it is part of their job definition as spokesperson for a company or a department or an organization in their role as press officers on a committee, or for instance. So it's some some people. It's their job to to talk. It's their, it's the, they, they are press officers, and they are always looking for opportunity to talk. Yeah. Yes, Tivesh. Thank you, Brother Sam. I think one of the other reasons that someone could agree to come onto the show is because they they are passionate about the topic that the show is dealing with, mm. and perhaps they also believe in what the radio show itself the the is actually uh, about what is it trying to achieve so they been itself as well mm. exactly so it's always wonderful to know uh, whether you are meet the, meeting the expectations Muriko, are you covered you still want to add, add more points uh, your voice was a little bit uh, uh, echoed but uh, you you can try now Yes. Um, just to be uh, to go on radio or on TV as well to rectify people are saying that five G is the reason why we having these high infections of COVID nineteen. So it 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 it, 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 it sometimes it's uh, you have to go in to to be interviewed so that you can rectify and correct misinformation so much important especially for those people who are charged with that responsibility of making sure that there's clarity out there you know you know every time companies release statements if you don't go out there and re- set the record straight people will, will will sort of like change the the, the 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 narrative and you have to need a platform to go and set the record straight great stuff at least we know that People are not doing us a favor. We are actually meeting each other halfway. And it is their job to use platforms like this uh, to, to, to really uh, 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 communicate something. Now, why do, people, why do people decline to be interviewed on the radio? Judith? Uh, one point that I think of is lack of confidence. Yes, many times. Fear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. 
fear. But what causes the fear? Why do they lack confidence there, Judith? Why do you think people will lack confidence to come forward or they will be fearful to come forward? Um, because uh, they don't want, they are scared or rather they fear to be judged. Mm. And sometimes it, it's also, it also boils down to lack of preparation or lack of knowledge in some Mm. They don't feel confident with what they know and what they can show. Mm. Yeah. And we all have that. And many are times it's our fear and lack of confidence that make us lose opportunities to really find the best out of us. But, but many times people feel intimidated. They think that uh, uh, you are calling them just to catch them or you want to, you want to embarrass them, you know. They are scared that their family members will, will judge them. So, so you, when you invite people, you need to help them to overcome these fears because they may think that your station is one type of a station that wants to, to do that. Uh, Sabelo and then Rapula. Yeah, so, so one of the reasons uh, people would uh, uh, be reluctant to come, uh, you find that uh, uh, they... The environment, you know, the the host, uh, or maybe the station, or maybe those um, uh, people who will interview the host. Let me say the host will be very much hostile, or known to not to create a conducive environment mm. uh, for that particular guest. So, if it's known uh, with that kind of a reputation in the marketplace. Uh, you find that people may will be reluctant to come to that to that show. Mm. Mm. So it's our responsibility to to help them overcome that, especially if you think they are really having the content that you are looking forward to. Uh, Rapula and then Mbusezi, Captain, okay. and Ramabak. find that uh, an institution said you've got a spokesperson, even if the spokesperson will not be able to be a subject, subject matter specialist, but because of that uh, protocol, you won't be able to go to the radio. This, this is one of the things which I've picked up in mm. my recent email after. Mm. Yeah, I, I know uh, I have experienced that myself in the past. They said, you shall not speak to the media without us giving you explicit permission. Uh, what I've noticed from my side, what I've noticed, I think uh, one of the things which uh, our guests would like to have is a proper brief of uh, what the interview is all about or the invite. And uh, even to ensure that you assure them in terms of some they want more scripted in terms of even the questions which you're going to ask. They want to go to that kind of extent to be assured to say uh, there's no any other, other ulterior motives. Mm. Exactly. Thank you. And that's why we always say that please arrange in advance so that the office can send them an official invite, especially when they are coming for the first time, with a letter detailing what our intentions are and the profile of the radio station. And because some of them, these things are filed. The they, company's uh, policies on, on publicity is such that every interview they do out there, there needs to be a document, you know, a, a, a paper trail in case there are comebacks. And that's why we, 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 we always send, a, 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 even if the person we know, we will send the official invitation confirming what you have discussed with them. It's just it's a challenge with those of you who are hosting uh, weekly shows. It becomes a, a, a difficult, but we will still try to do so if a person is, especially if it's somebody that comes from 
sensitive environments or, or they demand it. Great. Um, lastly, before we go for another break, some points that I took, I took out there uh, that I think you must note them down and then go and read that document and understand what those things mean. And some of them, you know them. Where and how are the interviews used? Uh, in other ways, once you have interviewed somebody, that content is it can be used in many ways. And that is actually when the actual value of the interview is realized. They, there's what they call news clip or cut. There's what they call news interview, where in the middle of the news, they will say so-and-so said one, two, three. And then they bring a little a clip from that interview and they play it, you know. So, so that's, that's, especially when it comes to the news, let's say, for instance, the president has signed off a new legislation and then they are interviewing people immediately after the parliamentary sitting and say, what do you think of this? And then they will take a, a little bit of a, a clip from that and they play it in the news. So, so the interviews, and, and now especially with the mass media through internet, you'll be amazed that you could be approached by people to say, we, we like what you have said there, can we use this as a clip or as a, as a, as a quote or something like that, you know? News wrap, the packaging, the feature, the, 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 the documentaries, the magazines programs. So you can imagine with internet today that people may not see value in your interview now, but one year down the line, uh, when they Google and they, they come across your, your podcast where you are addressing something pertinent and they come to you to say, oh, what you have said in that interview at Commerza Radio is so profound, can we use it? Or the people who are doing research. So, so you need, and that's why Sydney was saying that uh, uh, you need to be mindful of the fact that the product you are producing through your interview is going to gain value as time goes on. And therefore, make sure that you always do your best not to, not to, 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 to give a, a poor quality product. Uh, the categories of interviews, there are about four of them collecting into information. Sometimes we interview people just to get information. Sometimes we want to interview people so that we want to hear them expressing their opinion or offering explanations. And sometimes people uh, want to come to the interview because they want to account to something that is falling squarely on their responsibilities. And then sometimes, you know, uh, is sensitive issues, emotional issues, and uh, people just want to be heard. Yeah. Two minutes. Any other comment? Otherwise, we take another five minutes break before we go into the last uh, the last hour. So, if you read that the manual, is it's got some helpful insights, uh, even though it might be applying to a different era and a different. Uh, different environment. Okay, let's take a five minutes break. Uh, we'll be back at uh, five past. Thank you so much. <laughs> 